So that's one indicator that you can look at. So if you have been running ads for at least 12 months, look at your CPMs from last year and compare them to what you've been experiencing this year. If your CPMs are the same or higher, it is possible that there is something wrong in your account. What's up everybody, Alvaro here from Alvaro Barrios Digital and today we are going to ask the question, is your Facebook CPM too high? Now if you don't know what Facebook CPM is, you're in luck because I actually have a video that I just recorded a couple weeks ago that is titled, what is CPM on Facebook? So you can check that out in the comments below and if after watching this video you do determine that your CPM is too high, guess what? You're also in luck because I have another video titled, how to lower your Facebook ad CPM. It's actually my most watched video of all time. So that will be in the description below as well. So is your personal Facebook CPM too high at this moment? Well, let's establish the fact that CPMs across every account is different, right? So no two accounts are going to have the same CPM. So let's first and foremost, keep that in mind. But how do we determine if we're paying too much? Should our CPM be lower? Is there something that we're actually doing wrong within their account? Well, there's no clear and cut way to answer this, but but luckily we do have a little bit of research and support to give us a little bit of an answer. So the first and foremost actually comes from this company called Revealbot that actually tracks Facebook CPMs on a weekly basis. So if we look at the chart right here that they have, this is tracking Facebook CPMs since the beginning of the year. And you can see right here that across the entire platform, they're saying that the average CPM is 1498. Now, some of you might be looking at that and might be screaming, Oh my goodness, my Facebook CPM is you know three times higher than it actually should be this is an average across the entire platform across all objectives across all industries across all countries all that kind of stuff so keep that in mind so really you don't want to look at the face value of this so to speak um, but you do want to look at the trend line that's why I like to look at this so if we look at Facebook CPMs over the course of the last 12 months essentially they've actually gone down so you can see at the beginning of this year that they have been lower than they were a year ago so that's one indicator that you can look at so if you have been running ads for at least 12 months look at your CPMs from last year and compare them to what you've been experiencing this year if your CPMs are the same or higher it is possible that there is something wrong in your account and again if you don't know how to dive diagnose and make those appropriate changes, be sure to check out the video in the description below. But that's just an indicator that you can be looking at right there. Another thing to keep in mind with this uh, breakdown right here is that we also want to look at it by objective because obviously the conversions objective is going to be the most expensive one. And as we can see right here, both lead generation and conversions are the most expensive, but those two are cheaper than they were last year. So that is one indicator to look at. Okay. But how can we get more specific, right? Because like I said, there are so many variables that go into your Facebook CPM. And one of the best ones that you can look at is, you know, CPM by industry. Unfortunately, I actually don't know of any specific resources that track it by industry, but luckily there are some good people out there that track the CPC or cost per click by industry. Now, obviously that's a different metric than CPM, but CPC is heavily influenced by CPM because the more your CPM is, the higher your CPC will be naturally. So still looking at the CPC metrics is very helpful. And thankfully the good people over at WordStream actually track this very carefully. Hey, and before we go on any further, do me a huge, huge favor and go ahead and hit that like button. It really lets me know if you enjoy this type of content. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any of the valuable content I put out. So let's go ahead and take a look at this chart that they've put together for us, which shows CPC by industry. And we can see right here that the most expensive industries from a CPC standpoint are finance, internet and telecom, and then home and garden. And then the cheapest are food and drink, 
pets and animals, hobbies and leisure. Now, it's not surprising there at all that, uh, for example, pets, <laughs> pets and animals is one of the cheapest ones because who doesn't like to see an ad with a cute little dog on it? But that being a sign, this is good to look at because if you fall into one of these categories, then you're going to know, okay, I'm paying either a high or a low CPM and that makes sense based upon the CPC metrics that I'm seeing here. But if, for example, if you are in the pets and animals industry and your CPC is you know, $1, then you know something might be going on, right? And you need to go ahead and diagnose those issues and see if there's something that you can do in order to improve your CPM numbers. Now, these are all just averages and industry-wide and things like that, you know, worldwide. It's not taking things into account like countries, which that can vary a lot in terms of cost. So ultimately, these are all just guidelines and you just want to look at them as trends. The most specific answer you can get is just by talking to other people in your industry. So for every single industry, I can promise you that there is a Facebook group of advertisers somewhere on Facebook, right? So there's Facebook groups for people running real estate ads. There's Facebook groups for people running auto ads, so on and so forth. So do some searches, go inside those Facebook groups and just ask, you know, what is your average CPM? When you ask that question though, make sure very much so that you're talking about the conversions objective because the, again, the conversion versions one's the most expensive one. So if someone's giving you their CPM with their video views or brand awareness objective, it's not going to be an apples to apples comparison, but that is the best way to get the clearest answer as to whether or not you are paying too much with your CPM. So go ahead and do that. And another thing to keep in mind is that kind of going back to the charts that we were seeing here from WordStream specifically, right? You, we look at these categories like finance, pets and animals, hobbies, all kind of stuff. You know, these aren't always the best categories for your industry, right? So that's another thing to keep in mind. So as an example, I have one client who has an online program for people raising sensitive children. I have no idea what <laughs> industry technically that would be based upon the information here given to us by WordStream. So that's where, you know, hopping into those Facebook groups comes into use, right? Just make sure if you don't see like a perfect fit for your industry in here, it's fine. Like I said, I can pretty much guarantee there's a Facebook group out there um, for you and you can pull some friends and, and see, see what they are experiencing themselves. So hopefully that makes sense and you can figure out pretty quickly whether or not you are paying too much with your CPMs. It is a game changer. If you can lower those CPMs, you can definitely improve your results pretty quickly. And by the way, if you are watching this video between the dates of April 6th and April 18th, 2022, and you are in a position where you are actively running ads, but maybe it doesn't make financial sense to hire a Facebook ads agency. Well, guess what? You are in luck because I am reopening the doors to my group coaching program, the ads amplifier. This is where you get very uh, intimate one-on-one -on -one feedback from me on a weekly basis within a Zoom call, and you also get access to me and other people in the group within a Facebook group where you can ask questions seven days a week, and you also get access to my flagship Facebook course, which is a seven module course, which walks you through A to Z, how to master Facebook ads. So I am opening up enrollment for that. It's a three month program, it's $200 a month. So if you are actively running ads, this is not for people who are just learning or just starting to run ads. If you are already actively running ads and need a little bit of help, um, I will put the link for that below so you can check out all the details. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions around CPM, be sure to let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.